from my point of view, this is a really fun thing to be doing because, <laughs> bless them, these lovely girls, I start fitting them when they're at the Royal Ballet School and this is the first time they've ever been here. Yeah. Actually, having your shoes fitted at school was the most exciting yeah. day of the year, especially in your first year at school when you've never worn point shoes before. Michelle was like the fairy godmother. <laughs> For dancers uniquely in the field of the arts, they have only themselves and, of course, the shoe. So our job is to make sure the dancer gets the maker who best complements her way of working and how she wants to look. Each maker's different, like they've all got their own very bits and pieces of what they do to the shoe. And that's when the dancer finds them. Because you don't go looking out for the dancers, they come and find you. They try your shoes and see what they like. And then once you've got one, and that's it, then the majority of her life career she just sticks with your shoes and that's what makes it so fascinating. At the end of the day, it can affect the dancer's livelihood. And that's one of the things about this job. Every dancer got the confidence to go out in one of my shoes knowing that it's gonna hold for that show sort of thing. It's incredibly industrious and I think it's really highlighted that they're like little sculptures and it's very artistic, their creation. It's artists and people and that's quite lovely that it joins our trade and these completely enable our livelihood. How many could you do in a day? I'll do 40 pairs a day. 40? Yes. 40 pairs? Yes. So that's 80 shoes? Yes, 80 shoes wow. all in all. We find that our way of making shoes enables us to encompass almost anything that anyone might want. So we'll change the strength of the insole, the length of the vamp, the side, the length of the back, the pitch of the platform, the width of the platform, the strength of the block. Whereas if you manufacture point shoes in the way that you might other shoes, you would not have those options. Does everyone have the same method or do you have your certain way? I have my own certain way and yeah. then I perfect it for the dancer what she needs and then if there's something what she don't like and then I change it to accommodate her sort of thing and then once you've done her several times and then you know then you do it without thinking and yeah. then she knows without you having to worry about it and then you just build up that sort of relationship with them. Actually Natalie I've got some of your shoes here that have just come through the process here um, as you see they've got your name on your specifications, the insole and everything. And these have been made slightly extended because they're for a production that you have to have your shoes dyed in. That's right, and they always shrink a little bit whilst they're dyed. So, well, thank you. I will, these will be on stage on Saturday night, so. Excellent. <laughs>